Let's get to a Channel 2 Action News exclusive. We just got this video showing a teenager who was shot stumbling into a business for help. Right now, police are still searching for the shooter. Channel 2's Michael Seiden live outside Grady Memorial Hospital where doctors treated that 16-year-old victim, Michael. And George, right now we are still working to get an exact condition. We know that that teen uh, took two shots to his leg. We are told he is expected to make a full recovery. Now, tonight we are also hearing from that business owner who shared that surveillance video, and she describes uh, this frightening and bizarre encounter. I was just working, um, minding my own business at the counter, and then I saw him just run in. It was the day after Halloween, four in the afternoon, when all of a sudden surveillance video from inside a dry cleaners in Atlanta's Glenwood Park neighborhood shows a 16 year old boy entering the business shot twice in the leg. He heads straight for the fitting room. He was just like really frantic, just screaming like, oh, ma'am, I just got shot. Like they're chasing after me. Can I hide in here? Um, so I just kind of let him hide in our fitting room. Um, and then in there he was like calling his mom and then like really frantic. This business owner who's asked us not to identify her told us at first she was confused. Didn't see any blood like no like just like two small holes in his pants. But that feeling quickly turned to fear after she learned the gunman may still be in the neighborhood. Screaming and crying like asking me to not let anyone in. Um, if. I see anyone chasing after him, just like don't let them in, um, lock all the doors, call 911. According to APD, the team was inside a parking deck on Glenwood Avenue when someone started shooting. Right now, police are still looking for the suspect. And tonight, this is being called an ongoing investigation. No description yet of any suspects or a vehicle. I can also tell you that woman there, she says, although she is shaken, she's also grateful for all her customers who have been checking up on her uh, since this encounter happened on Tuesday. For now, we're live in downtown Atlanta. Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News.